The Andy project is develop behavioral models to apply to humanoid robots and make them our working partners. What will be the fields of application? They range from customer service to healthcare to the industrial sector. Robots of the future will interact with us more and more in daily life. To ensure efficient collaboration, researchers at the Italian Institute of Technologies in Genoa are developing hardware and software that allow humanoid machines to evaluate and predict human actions. The robot has several sensors to understand how the human is moving. The presence of the human being is detected, first by sight. Secondly, during the interaction, the robot is able to sense contact with the person through his skin. Then, to allow the robot to be aware of the human's actions, it needs to be equipped with sensors. The sensors are integrated into a special high-tech suit. They're able to detect human movements and share the information with the robot in a fraction of a second. The robot can then react almost in real time. An algorithm calculates the intensity of our effort, what we'll call the human dynamics, and this information is transmitted to the robot. In the future, we expect that the robot will even be able to predict our movements and thus help us to perform common actions. The name of the test robot is iCub. iCub can be helpful across a range of human activities, manufacturing healthcare and helping people at home. The size and range of movement of each robot will be adapted to its particular function. The vision that we have for the final application of this type of robot is the personal assistant, which can be adapted in different ways, from the rehabilitation robot to the one for assisted living. Obviously, the technologies we have developed for this kind of robot can also be used in the industrial sector. Another feature being developed is iCub's ability to record new information through vocal instruction without the direct intervention of a programmer. As we talk with the robot, I can tell it, for example, look at this, this is a smartphone and then to allow the user to add other things the robot needs to know. The robot acquires the image and builds a new category by itself, the category of the smartphone. Researchers working on this European project are also developing facial expressions for the humanoids to allow it to be more empathetic with its potential partners, patients or elderly people. How far are you from the final objective and what are the main challenges facing the Andy project? We need to integrate the cognitive abilities of the robot, the fact that he recognizes the presence of the human being. With his motor skills, the fact he is able to walk, collaborate and interact with human beings. We expect to reach this goal within the next 10 to 15 years. According to researchers, human-robot collaboration will stick to assisting people in the workplace. They say robots won't completely replace their human colleagues.